It's great to be here in Taiwan and I've just come back from the, the session, sparking up your innovation. And I want to share with you the eight things a leader needs to do to shape and evolve an innovative culture. And of course, they relate at a personal level to the Lumina Spark eight aspects. But they're also things that a leader needs to do to shape the culture. So if a leader really wants an innovative culture, if we go to inspiration driven, culturally, they need to help everybody keep their options open. Nobody is innovative if they lock into one idea and stick with it for years. You need to have your options eternally open so new possibilities can emerge. That's inspiration driven. However, the opposite, discipline driven, is also required. So in shaping an innovative culture, we need to use discipline to iterate continuously. So maybe the options are open, but only for a period while we test and execute and have an agile plan. So iterating continuously requires agile thinking so that we, in a very structured way, test out and work with new things. Those are sort of opposites, inspiration-driven, discipline-driven, but that's the challenge of leadership and that's the first two things a leader needs to do. Now if I go to big picture thinking, this is where we have the ideas, we see the possibilities, and a leader needs to encourage their organisation and their teams not just to have the ideas, but to test them to do A-B testing, to find out in the real world what works and what doesn't, and do it lots of times, and not be too attached to your good ideas. And that's where the opposite comes in, down to earth. This is where we're sensible and practical. To shape an innovative culture, you have the ideas, but you're willing to limit the downside. You don't do a test that will cause you to go out of business. You need to do both. If you look at extroversion, an introversion, there are two things a leader needs to do here. With the extroversion, they need to communicate openly, thoroughly, and listen to everybody throughout the organization so we can all contribute to the innovation process. With their introversion, though, they need to seek out their stakeholders and listen, and listen carefully because the feedback from stakeholders and customers will determine the, the direction you need to go in if you are to innovate. And finally, with our outcome focus and people focus, with outcome focus, a leader needs to help people work fast, but be willing to break things. Because without breaking things, without testing them, you won't find out in advance whether they're really innovative. That requires a, a willing to make mistakes. And if we go to the opposite, with our people focus, we actually need to love failure. As long as we learn from the failure, and we need to do that collectively. So the culture needs to allow people to make mistakes as long as we're testing and we're learning. So those eight things together are the things a leader needs to do to shape an innovative culture.